everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. on a parent's visiting day. Maruko! Maruko! Uh, oh no! Come here! These crackers are mine! Listen, when the school gives you information on parent visiting day, you need to pass it on to me, okay? Huh? Hold on. How do you know about that? I was talking to Tame's mother. She told me. Look, Mom, you don't need to come. Why on earth wouldn't I go? It's arithmetic day. Let's just say I'm not gonna do well. Well, why don't you prepare for the lesson then? Rather than me preparing for the lesson, I just think it's a lot simpler if you don't bother coming. Besides, it really isn't fair if I prepare. Other kids don't prepare, and they do just fine. You clown! <gasps> I'm coming to your school, and that's that. All that's going to do is make you upset, Mom. You and I both know you just can't handle it. <laughs> hey, Maruko, I said not to open the rice crackers until we had finished all the other snacks. It's weird that you picked this to get angry about. The parent visiting day thing is way more important. Dad, Dad, hey, Dad! What's up, sweetheart? Mom's gone completely insane. She insists on coming to this parent visiting day thing. Sounds fine to me. It's not. She'll spend lots of money getting her hair permed at the beauty parlor and buying new clothes. She might buy new jewelry. And that's not the worst of it. After seeing how terribly I do in class, she may decide not to cook you any dinner. You okay with that? I don't want to be the cause of such personal misery, Dad! You have to stop Mom! Ah, in other words, if you don't show your miserable performance, there won't be any problem. Why don't you just go prepare for the class? Why do parents say such ridiculous things like I should take responsibility for my life? Tell me, Maruko, which one of your lessons is your open class? It's on the fifth lesson. Huh? Big news, Mom! Mom! What is it? We just found out that both of our open lessons are at the exact same time, Mom. Goodness me, I had no idea. So listen, I will let you go to her class instead of mine. You're a real piece of work. And maybe Grandpa can come to my class. That would work best for everybody here. Mm. We can all agree that nobody in this house knows me better than Grandpa. That's true. Once more, she uses him as an unknowing pawn in her plan. Uh-huh. Absolutely not! I'm going to Maruko's class. Eh, you're too mean. You're too mean. Rats, my life is over. The next day. My mom's coming, can you believe that? So who's coming for you, Tama-chan? My mom's super excited about coming today. Wait, both of your moms are coming today? I'm jealous. <sighs> what about you, Hanawa? My mom can't come today. She's away on business. She's extremely busy. What does she do for work again? Does she clean? <clears throat> so coming in her place is Hide, my butler. Ah, that makes sense. <clears throat> Look, some mothers are here already. Yeah, you're right. I'm starting to get nervous now. Me too. Everything we do will be watched. Teacher said in order to ignore them, just think of them as eggplants and pumpkins wearing clothes. I don't think that's going to work for me, Maruko. 
I agree. There are lots of people here already. I wonder why Mom hasn't arrived at school yet. Uh, now begins my suffering. I hate this. Well, at least Mom is a no-show. I can take it easy for a while. Hmm? Huh? How long has she been out in the hallway? Oh, she looks super unhappy. What's she thinking? Huh? What? Down? Huh? Oh no! My social studies notebook! That's the wrong one. Come on! Arithmetic, arithmetic. Uh, I've got it. <laughs> okay. Huh? Did she call me a clown? She sure is. Oh, great. I better do something or I'll be in trouble. I need to do something to prove myself. Okay. Can anyone answer this? Yes! yes. 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 I can! <sighs> right. With so many kids' hands up, there's no way I'll get chosen. It'll make me look good in front of my mom if I put my hand up now. I can! Right. Tom A, please. Yes, sir. That, that really worked. <sighs> Peace. I'm no lip reader, but I know what she's saying. All right, I have another question for you kids. Who knows this one? I do. Me. Good, Maruko, okay? Teacher, why would you pick me when you know I don't know the answer? I should have known that under the calm exterior was the devil. Let's see here. Ah, it's easy. Finish, sir. Hey, why is she still calling me a clown? That was a good try, Maruko, but you can still reduce it even further. Oh no, I messed up. She's doing her best psycho smile now. This is worse than I ever dreamed. Wakabayashi, your turn. Sir! Oh, you're dressed very smartly. <laughs> I dress smartly, too. I went to Kobe to buy a tie especially for today. I guess you could say I'm tied to my class, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is laughing as well. <sighs> Teacher, your jokes might all be corny, but I'll take as many as you can give right now. Who knows this one? Me! All right, I think we'll have Sugiyama this time. Hey, that joke the teacher told before was one of his worst ones yet, wasn't it? Sure was. <laughs> hey, Hamazaki and Maruko, <gasps> you know the rule about talking in class. Yeah, I know. I'm very sorry, sir. My apologies, sir. Uh, she's not even calling me a ridiculous clown now. Boy, that feels like the good old days compared to this. Teacher! <gasps> what an obby told me he's not feeling well! <gasps> Dear me, that's not good. You should go directly to the infirmary with your mom, Watanabe. Right, back to the lesson. Gee, I envy him. His mom is always super nice to him. If I can manage to make myself sick, then mom will forget everything that I did wrong here today. I should just think of something super gross. Let's see. Sashimi all covered with whipped cream and topped with a cherry. Ugh, that's barf worthy. How about corned beef with chocolate sauce? Yeah! That girl, she spaced out again. Wait, it would look a lot better if I raised my hand instead of thinking about this. I was picked a minute ago, so there's no way I'll get picked again. It's the perfect crime! Me, sir! I know! I know! I know! All right, Maruo, you please. Thank you, sir! I've been waiting for this moment all day! Good. Teacher didn't pick me. Right. I'm gonna raise my hand every time now. When he doesn't pick me, I'll make a face that says, Oh, no, he didn't pick me. I knew that one. This one next. Anybody? Yes! yes! I know! Um, Hamazaki. Yes, sir! Oh, no. Huh? Goodness. It seems as though you don't know how to reduce fractions, Hamazaki. Do you know what that means? Of course, sir. It's when you write the fraction small. That way, they're reduced in size. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, stop messing around. You know how it is with me. <laughs> I envy 
Hamachi. He sure got a lot more guts than me. I wish my life was as easy as his. This one's a bit more difficult than all those other ones. Okay, who can do this one? I can! <coughs> There's no one else. Oh, Maruko. Here's a chance to redeem your mistake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that look. She only makes that face when she has no idea what she's doing. What to do? What to do? What to do? Let's see. Let's see. The numbers keep moving. I can't do this. <laughs> Teacher, I almost had it, but I got lost. All right. Maybe you should just go back to your seat, okay? Sure. Why don't you just try acting like a clown like Hamaji did? Hey. <laughs> this coercive voice is a very well-known phenomenon known as Mind B. Come on, just do it! Act comically like everything's a joke! Quick, now's your chance! <laughs> look at me! Look at me! I'm just a clown! <laughs> I couldn't look at my mom after that moment. I felt as though my entire body had been turned to stone. Children, I think you all did really well today. Your parents will be very happy. Ugh, that was brutal. I don't think I want to go home now. Before you go home, I have a nice little surprise for you. Maruko's Picture Barbershop won a prize in the Prefecture Art Competition yesterday. Huh? That's right, I have a prize for you. Oh, congratulations! That's amazing! This is the greatest thing ever! All my mistakes will be completely written off now! Here, your prize, Maruko. You earned it. Thanks very much, sir! Mom, I finally did you proud, huh? Unfortunately for her, her mother was so disgusted by Maruko's antics that she went to her sister's classroom and never saw her presented with the prize. Silly child. In this episode, a tutor comes to my house. <laughs> hey, big brother! Faster! Faster! <laughs> There were days in her life that Maruko often wished she had an older brother herself. Today is one of those days. I'm home! Boy, oh, it's hot. Hey, sis, stop reading. Let's get ice cream. Mm, I'd love to, but I can't. Actually, I'm starting with a new home tutor a little later on today. Huh? A home tutor? But why? Are you having trouble with schoolwork or something? No way! I'll be a junior high school student next year, and it just so happens there's a tutor who's available to help me. Tell me, is it a man or a woman? Do you know? Mm-hmm, I do. The tutor's a man. Yay! It looks like I'm going to get an older brother! Hooray! Oh, calm down. He's not here to play with you, Maruko. I heard the news. We have a tutor coming to our house later today, Mom. That's right. Don't interrupt them. Maruko's only idea of an older brother is someone who's friendly and reliable, like the famous actor and singer Marita Kensaku. Hey, hey, Mom, look. Is this dress all right? I don't care what you're wearing. It's all fine. Well, I care. It's not every day that you finally get the older brother you've always wanted, is it? I'm so excited I could burst! Hey, sis, you're not going to wear those same old rags in front of your brand new tutor, are you? He's gonna laugh at you when he sees you dress like a hobo. It's none of your business. Oh, hey sis, do you know if Big Brother rides a motorcycle? A big noisy Harley? Like a tough guy? <sighs> I wonder if he'll play a game of Othello with me. Ah, I just can't wait! FYI, this is what young Maruko does when she's losing a game of Othello. Eh? Huh? She becomes a total nuisance <gasps> and ruins the game before completely abandoning it. No one in the family will play with her now. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess if Big Brother is going to take me for a ride on his motorcycle when he gets here, I'm going to need my own safety helmet. Hey, listen, Mom. Can I have a motorbike helmet? But you don't need one, so no. Hello? Anyone home? Ah, uh, yes. He's here. <laughs> huh? Who's this? Hi there, young lady. Uh, wait. Mom? Mom? There's a salesman here. 
Uh, no, wait. I'm not a salesman, little girl. I just came here to tutor your sister. Uh, uh, hello there. It's nice to meet you. Yes, likewise. Well, uh, I guess I better get to it. Uh, he's... he's a bit different. Mom, tell me, what exactly does that weird man do? He's in college, dear. He's a senior, I think. What? That guy's a student? You sure you're not being lied to? Stop it! Don't talk about that gentleman like that. I'm gonna go and see what he's doing. You'll do no such thing! The way Maruko figured it, anyone who would be swayed by such a weak argument is a coward. All right, let's try question number three. Hmm. Something about this man makes me feel hesitant to play with him. It's weird. When you're finished, let me take a look. He looks unfriendly. Hey, look this way. Come on, look. Fine. I'll get your attention. Ooh! Is that meant to be an owl or something? Hmm? Oh, oh. Ah, hello there, young lady. I didn't see you there. Would you like to come in here or something? Well, I don't want to interrupt. The way she's acting is kind of the way a goofy father acts when his daughter brings her boyfriend home for the first time. I guess I must have forgotten. But I don't think I caught your name when we first met each other. Who, me? Oh, my name is Momoko Sakura. But people call me Chibi Maru, and I'm a girl, so I have Ko at the end, so my whole name ended up being Chibi Maruko. Then it got shortened to Maruko. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, I see now. Your name is Maruko, is it? Maruko-san. <laughs> hey, Mom, listen to me. That guy is a mega weirdo. You should have heard the way that he said my name. You might want to let him go, Mom. Don't be silly. Days later... Maruko regards the tutor as a strange, odd person who she doesn't like, so she plans to investigate him. I wonder if he can appreciate a well-done drawing. Hmm. I'll draw him something. <laughs> That'll do the trick. I don't really understand how you could have made a mistake on this question. Take me through your entire process, okay? Uh, okay. Hey, teacher. I drew you a really cool picture. Wanna take a look? Okay, then. Let me see the picture. See? Okay. Is it good? Tell me. <laughs> well, in my opinion, it looks like a daughter of the royal family during the French Revolution. Did you have that in mind when you drew this picture, Maruko? Uh, I really don't know. All I was trying to do is draw a beautiful princess, that's all. <laughs> okay. Just a beautiful princess, huh? I see. Hmm. Well, Maruko. What's the princess's age, nationality, and name? And if possible, I'd like to know her parents' name as well. This tutor is the type of person who tends to think obsessively about everything, no matter how trivial it is. Maruko, how many brothers and sisters does this princess have? Does it matter? Wait, there's something else I just noticed. This drawing doesn't have the proportions of a real face. Huh? I'll teach you how to draw it properly. Look, eyes like this, and the nose like this. See? Much better. <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> That's one immature kid. Can you draw some more? It's great! All right, it's all done now. <laughs> Keep on drawing! Look here, Maruko. Huh? There's something you have to understand. Your mom didn't hire me so that I could come here and play with you. I have a duty to help your sister with her studies right now. Do you understand me? Okay. I don't really care if you play with me. It's fine, because I'm not after a big brother anyway. Right. Supper is ready now. And you're more than welcome to join us for dinner. If there's a guest, she's more likely to prepare something elaborate. I guess that's one good reason to be glad that Strange Tutor is in our house. <laughs> bon appetit, everyone! <laughs> hmm? Tell me, is that your stamp collection behind you, Maruko? Yes, it is. Back in those days, it was popular for everyone, young and old, to collect stamps in their stamp book. It was just one of those things. 
In fact, it was always likely that three out of five who appeared on children's special contests for the summer vacation would say the following thing. My hobby's collecting stamps. That was super common. May I have a look? No way. I'll never show this to you. Maruko, behave. Don't you act like an insolent child. Huh. Listen, I'm sorry about that. Uh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Two weeks passed pretty much like that. Teacher, thank you for helping me. Oh, it was my pleasure. I'm home. Ah, Maruko-san, that's perfect timing. The arrangement I had with your mother was to tutor your sister for a period of two weeks. So today is my last day. Hmm. But to be honest with you, I had kind of hoped to teach you juggling or something. Hmm? Throw to the other hand and keep on going. I'm sorry about that. It's fine. Don't worry. So instead of that, I brought this stamp for you. Oh, that's the one I'm after. Well, goodbye, everyone. Teacher. Oh, no. I was so mean to him. I was such a bad kid. Hey, teacher! Let's play again sometime! He's leaving. He has a smile on his face. I should put the stamp in a book. Then it'll be safe. Let's see. Huh? I dropped it! I need to find it! Come on! <laughs> oh no, don't tell me I've lost it! The stamp Baruko held in her hand got sticky with her perspiration, so it stuck to the bottom of her satchel. Hey, Hamachi, have a look! Huh? What is it? In typical style, Maruko ended up making all of her friends peer into her satchel, oh, which is easily oh. the silliest way to show off a stamp. <laughs>